We are working in Module 13 and we've talked a little bit already about how to set up payroll items. We've talked about how to set up those employees. Now you should be good to go when it's time to actually run payroll. Let's talk about going through and actually paying those employees. When you get ready to run payroll, all you need to do is click here where it says pay employees and it's going to pop up and ask you a couple quick things before it actually spits out the checks for you. The first thing you'll notice up here is that this is where you would see a list of any scheduled payrolls that you have and it would let you know if they're coming up or overdue. You can see in this case they have one that's a bi-weekly payroll schedule and it's overdue. If I wanted to pay all of these people, all I would do is select it and start scheduled payroll. If I don't have any payroll schedules and I'd like to set one up, then I would come down here where it says payroll schedules and create a new one. When you create a new payroll schedule, it's going to ask you what would you like to name the schedule, how often will you pay the employees on the schedule, what is the pay period end date, and what date should appear on the paychecks in this pay period. Once you set all that up, you can click OK and it would show up in this list. Obviously, if you only have a couple of employees in your organization, you really don't need to set this up. This is really for if you have a lot of employees and they have different pay dates. If you're not using the schedules, then all you need to do is start an unscheduled payroll. This is a list of all the employees, and basically what's going to happen is you're going to end up checking off the ones that you're going to pay. Now let's go up to the top before we do that and look at these options. The first one is when is the pay period end date and when is the check date. The next thing is make sure you have the correct bank account chosen that the money is going to be coming out of. You can also print your paychecks on check stock or you can handwrite and assign check numbers, whichever one works for you. The next thing you want to do is go down the list and check off each employee that's going to get paid. What you're seeing next to each employee is the last time they were paid, these were their regular hours. Remember, Dan is salaried. If they had any overtime, you would see it here, sick or vacation. And then over here, you'll see the total hours. If you want to look at each person's actual paycheck, what it's going to look like, these are all three different links. I can click on Dan Miller, and this is what Dan's paycheck is going to look like. You can see that it's got his rate right here, we don't need to plug in hours because he's salaried. It could be that you want to associate his salary with a particular customer job. If that's the case, just pick it from the list over here. You can see his sick vacation availability, or if he's accrued any, you can see that as well. Here's all the payroll items that are either added to or deducted from his paycheck. You can see any company paid portions down here and then this is the employee paid portion. Here's his salary and everything that's deducted out of his check and you can see the net check amount at the bottom. All you have to do is save and close that and that's Dan Miller. Now let's look at Elizabeth Mason for a moment because she's an hourly person. The last time she was paid she had 80 hours of regular pay but let's say this time for some reason she has 80 hours plus she has 5 hours of overtime. Again, I can associate those with a particular customer job if I wanted to do that. If she took any sick time, you can specify that here, or if she took any vacation time, you can specify it there. Here's her other payroll items. It looks like she has health insurance deducted. There's the company paid portion and the employee paid portion over on this side, and you can see her net check as well. All I'm gonna do is save and close here, and then you can see now she's got 80 hours of regular and 5 hours of overtime right here. And I would do the same thing for Greg Schneider. Once I've looked at all of those, all I'm going to do is hit continue at the bottom. And here it just gives me a list of each employee, what their gross pay is, their taxes, their deductions. You can see all the way across. Now all I have to do is create paychecks. Once you do this, these checks are in the checkbook register. You'll see here that it asks me if I want to print the paychecks or print the pay stubs. I do want to show you what a pay stub looks like. I'll just go ahead and preview these. It's just printed on a regular piece of paper. 
and you'll notice that the stub looks just like any other pay stub. It'll have each employee's information, it'll have what they started out with, their gross, all the deductions, and then their net pay. I'm going to go ahead and close that and close this as well. And now, once I close this window, everything is in the register, and if I want to go look at it, I could. Let me go ahead and click Home for a moment. I'm going to go over to the right and go to the Check Register. And then when I look in the checkbook, I'm going to see if those three paychecks are in there, and yes, they are. You can see them right here. There's Dan Miller, there's Elizabeth, and there's Greg. That's all you have to do. And notice they say Paycheck right here. I'm going to go back to the home screen and we've got one more thing we need to talk about before we leave this module and that's actually paying your payroll taxes. Hey everyone, Ava here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Click over there to get the complete course for QuickBooks 2019. And click over there to watch the complete set of QuickBooks 2019 videos in this playlist. We'll see you next week with additional videos.